Customer relations is one of the most important parts of every single business. And in today's video, I'm going to be comparing Pipedrive with HubSpot to tell you which is the best one for your business's needs. Now, I've actually tried both of these out for extended periods of time, so I have a great understanding of which is better and which one you should pick based upon your situation. So today, I'm going to compare the two and tell you which one to use. Let's get right into it. So starting off with HubSpot, this offers way more than just being a great CRM. It has a great ton of uh, operations and you've got a ton of tools here. You've got things for sales, marketing, content management, customer service, operations, and even commerce. In more detail, it has a sales hub, which is everything in a standard CRM plus sales management, such as contact management and deal tracking. And it also has its own meeting scheduler. It has something called the marketing hub here. And this is where you can set up things like email marketing, you can do your automated campaigns, you can do your single sends, and they have things like a custom builder for templates and other things like that. It also allows you to connect up your social media accounts so you can post directly from HubSpot and see how things like ads are performing. So you can even run your full marketing directly through HubSpot, which is a really cool feature. It also has a CMS hub, which allows you to create your own website and start a blog there. And you can do it all on a custom domain. So this is a really good one for um, just blog posts, SEO, landing pages, that kind of thing all built in. Now, let's say your customers are having some kind of trouble. You can actually create a customer portal where they can engage with your team. So you can set up a sort of support hub for your customers and then get direct support through here, which is a very, very useful tool. Now we also have our operations hub. The operations allows us to go ahead and keep all the data um, in one place from all different sources. And it allows us to create some good workflows, uh, automations and that kind of thing to help manage everything in one place. And then finally, we've got our commerce hub. So we can do stuff like our um, invoices we can make payment links we can do stuff to make billing simpler and overall it has all of the things you need to take money subscriptions you can create products um, you have a lot of options here now while hubspot has a lot of different features here pipedrive also does include a lot of them but it's more focused on the crm sort of sales aspect overall and it's specifically designed as a sales team toolkit so that's what we'll be talking about now as you can see inside of pipe drive everything is to do with your leads your deals projects uh, campaigns and essentially just closing deals and getting clients so although it doesn't have all of the other features that hubspot has it has a lot of the ones that you need if you're trying to close deals you've got these different boards which are very very easy to go ahead and use you've got the different prices here the labels you've got the names this the meeting scheduler calls emails it basically puts everything in one place to make it easy for you to contact potential clients and prospects now overall pipe drive is good but it just doesn't have as many features as hubspot has so that's the first thing i would say moving on HubSpot integrates with a ton of different softwares. You can connect it with your Facebook ads. You can connect it with your Google. You can connect it with tons of different things to go ahead and actually automate it. So this is really, really useful um, for connecting up to all the different platforms you might have for your marketing and that kind of thing. Now, on the other hand, Pipedrive does also have connections. It just doesn't have as many connections available. So you will have to potentially use some third party integrations to go ahead and set it all up. Now let's talk about reporting. So if we go over onto Pipedrive to start off, Pipedrive's reporting is a little bit easier to access. You can just go into here like this and you're gonna have all of your different reports here, super easy to access um, and to be honest, they're very simple to understand. Uh, you can go here, you've got all these different reports here, or you can go ahead and create a new report. And they're gonna have different types of sort of templates for reports you can go ahead and create, which is pretty useful. Um, 
So you can go ahead and use that. Now, HubSpot also does have the reporting. And to me, the reporting is not as easy to understand. You can see here, it doesn't give me this instant dashboard of all these different things. I have to go ahead and create these reports. So although it doesn't look as good, the thing that is better about it is that the uh, reports can go a lot more in depth. So you've got a lot more flexibility in terms of reporting here. But it depends how deep you need to go. Pipedrive is going to have most of the things that you need here. And to me, it's just a little bit easier to see. Um, and the whole layout is a lot better in my opinion. You can also have dashboards for reports for each different area of the business. So if you're looking at CRM, you can go ahead and create a report dashboard specifically for the CRM. Uh, you can do it for each different thing. And you can also do it together in one place here if you would like to. But you can see you've got your sales, your service, all of those ones. They kind of separate it out more than Pipedrive does. So that's what I mean by it goes more in depth. But in my opinion, Pipedrive is easier to use. Next up, let's talk about the pricing plans. So HubSpot has a free plan. It's free forever. Um, you get unlimited contacts. And basically, you get a lot of features. Now, this free plan is great if your business is struggling for cash. Uh, or maybe you are a startup or you're a solopreneur and you just don't have the money to pay an expensive CRM. This is really good. Um, but once you want to upgrade to the sort of paid plans, it's a little bit complex and it can be expensive. Now, on the other hand, Pipedrive does not have a free plan. It has a per user pricing plan. So this makes it more expensive overall for larger teams. But... If you want more advanced features, it's actually cheaper because if you want the advanced features on HubSpot, it's going to be more expensive than the ones in Pipedrive. So overall, which one should you choose between HubSpot and Pipedrive? Well, Pipedrive is better for small and medium businesses that can no longer rely on a free CRM solution or can no longer rely on one. It's more affordable for upgrading. Uh, especially if you don't have a large team. It has, it's very specialized for sales and it helps to solve sales problems. And add-ons are clearly separated, um, so you can turn them on or off as needed. Now, HubSpot is going to be a better option if you need a free or more versatile tool right now. And it's also better at the opposite end of the spectrum if you have a large business who needs to process lots of complex data, um, and you need to focus on lots of areas of your CRM rather than just sales. But if you're somewhere in the middle, then HubSpot is just is probably not the better option. But if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped. And I'll see you in the next one.